Amazon just announced an increase of layoffs from 11 to 18,000 people. Salesforce is laying off 8,000 people, 10% of its workforce. Zillow cut 2,000. Facebook parent company Meta already announced a 10,000 person layoff. And of course, Twitter canned 4,000 people after Elon Musk took over. Over a thousand tech companies have announced layoffs in the past year. What is going on? Although you might think that companies are cutting their workforce because they are struggling, stock prices have gone up after announcing these layoffs. Salesforce stock jumped 3% following its layoff announcement. But why? During the hot economy over the past couple of years, a lot of companies have made a lot of money and that leads to growth and hiring. Companies have been hiring as fast as they could find people, and many employees have received higher salaries than ever before. The economy was screaming hot and there was a lot of work to do, so companies grew to meet that demand. But now the economy has changed. It's slowing down. In its layoff announcement, Salesforce explained that they had hired too many people. Twitter was losing millions of dollars per day and wanted to save on payroll costs. When companies have too many employees for the work that needs to be done, they are inefficient and not as profitable as they could be. These layoffs are designed to help companies reduce payroll expense and make more money. And that is why layoff announcements are often followed by a higher stock price. Investors expect to make more money. The sad part of the equation is all of the people who lose their jobs. Mark Benioff, CEO of Salesforce, said these laid off people are like family, but we all know it's just empty words. Another interesting thing about some of these layoffs is that they appear to be skewed toward remote workers. Some companies want employees who are willing to work at the office, while other employers are working to provide more flexibility. Unfortunately for some, this means layoffs in a shrinking job market. We are in the middle of an historic shift in the labor market as some of the best workers end up at companies that allow them to work from anywhere, and some good companies willingly part ways with great workers who don't want a traditional office-based job. Either way, these tech companies and many others are cutting their workforce because a slowing economy means less work to do and they have more employees than they need. I hope to see more flexibility from companies and workers going forward. The companies should provide more opportunities for remote work because we have the technology to support that. However, the workers also need to understand that they need to meet the needs of their preferred employers. But the story right now is thousands of layoffs as companies seek to cut expenses in a slowing economy. Please subscribe for more on business, strategy, and the people involved.